Hello everyone, this is Christoph from DataBridge. This weekend I have a special gift for you, the Super Hub. What is it? Well, if you're one of those customers who are on the journey to Click Cloud, but you still have your ClickSense on Windows environment, you have the challenge that users have to visit two hubs, the Cloud Hub and the On-Premise Hub. And this hub actually gets all the apps into one place as you like it. So to download it, go to insight.databridge.ch, go to the marketplace. Maybe you have to log in first if you don't have a login yet. So create it with your email address and then find the super hub extension here. Click on download and then you go to the management console of your ClickSense Windows server. You go to extensions and import the zip file you just downloaded. I did that already. So you can go to slash extensions slash super slash hub dot html and then you will see the following i'm assuming if you could install the extension you're also a root admin or a content admin in this case the first time setup will look like this it will create in the default content library a settings file and then we have to open the settings and it will come with this dialogue where you have to uh, choose your um, ClickSense Cloud tenant. So in our case, it's databridgeinternal.eu.clickcloud.com. You have to get the web integration ID. If you don't know what this is, actually in the console of your cloud tenant, you have to go to integration web create a new integration here and what's the important part is you need to list the URL of your ClickSense on-premise server. So this one you have to list here as one of the allowed origins, including the protocol HTTPS. Once this is done, you'll get this ID and this ID is what you will put here in the settings. Then you can choose a title, Superhub or something else. If you, for whatever reason, just want to use the on-premise version, you can do that without, you know, then you only get apps from one place. The next message is you have to log into your Click Cloud tenant, if not already. It checks for cookies and if you have them present, it can talk to the API of Click Cloud. And if not, it will give you the warning, please log in first. So you're taken to your IDP of Click Cloud that could be the Click single sign-on or something else. Uh, but once you're back on the Cloud Hub, this message will disappear once you reload. So I just retry and magic happens. Now I see apps from two environments. How can I tell? You can quickly filter just the cloud apps or just the internal apps. You can filter by some spaces. Um, spaces on the on cloud have this little cloud icon, for example, this one, and you can use um, full text search here for your streams. So, for example, uh, this stream. And what I also like a lot is the possibility to search by app title. Give me all test apps, irrespective if they are on prem or in the cloud. And guess what? Here is also a table view that is a little bit more structured and see okay uh, ah, this section access test i want to visit and when you click on the link it will take you either to the cloud app or to the on-prem app as you would suggest um, there's also a little gadget here you can turn it into dark mode if you prefer this one yeah and that's about it that's the super hub we are very happy to hear your feedback we are a consulting company so if you like Yes, this goes exactly into the right direction, but I want this and that implemented, my extra theme, my corporate identity, or some extra functionality. Just talk to us. We are here to help. And with this, I wish you a very nice rest of the weekend and see you next time.